This is why you're bloated and what to do about it. Okay, so if you feel like you are constantly feeling just gassy, bloated, uncomfortably full, this is not normal, you guys. I used to think this was normal. This is not normal, um, and you don't have to deal with this, okay? So I'm gonna give you some reasons on why you might be feeling this way, as well as some things that you can do about it, okay? So, again, if you are feeling like, you know, you eat a meal that should be like a, a normal, healthy meal, and you feel uncomfortably full, okay? Uh, and you didn't, and you ate a normal amount of food, you feel like this full, like tight, bloated tummy, you feel like gassy bubbles, you're constantly gassy and farting, or you're constipated, or you are uh, have diarrhea often. All of these digestive issues are not normal, and you should try and figure out why you're having them, okay? So, a couple reasons. One of these might be the reason why you're feeling bloated. Number one, you might be eating way too fast, okay? If you scarf your food down super fast, um, and it doesn't even have to be like crazy fast, like whoa, 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 right? But if you just notice that you're eating like a full meal within just a few minutes or something really fast, chances are you're not giving your body time to actually digest that well and you need to just slow down the eating of your meal, okay? Um, make sure you sl slow that down, chew your food very thoroughly, um, and just take your time. Put your fork down between, between bites. Um, just take your time with that meal and that should help quite a bit, okay? Another reason you might be feeling bloated is you're drinking too much water during your meal time. Okay. Now it's totally common, especially in our culture to have your drink and have your meal and to have those together. And for a lot of people that might be fine, but if you are feeling super bloated, it could be because you're having too much to drink while you're eating. So to fix that, I would just drink a little bit before your meal, drink after your meal, but try to limit the amount of liquid you're drinking during your meal, okay? Um, another reason, you might be eating foods that you don't digest well. Some common culprits here are dairy and gluten, okay? Processed foods as well, but we're gonna go into more of that in, in a, a, a tip in just a minute. But if you're eating a lot of dairy and a lot of gluten and you are feeling constantly gassy, you know, all those things I talked about in the beginning, I would try cutting out one of those. You don't have to cut out both of them at the same time. I would try cutting out one of those for three to five days and see how you feel. So to decide which one to cut out, I would think about, you know, which one do you have more of? So if you know, you know, you have maybe a serving of cottage cheese, maybe you have cheese on a, on a meal and you have Greek yogurt or you're having a lot of milk, things like that, I would start by cutting out all dairy for a few days. Or if you maybe you don't have a lot of dairy, but you do have a lot of gluten, maybe try cutting out all gluten. You might not be totally, um, you might not completely have celiac disease, but you might have a little bit of a gluten intolerance that makes it hard for your body to digest that gluten. Okay, so if you're having a lot of one or the other, I would try cutting it out and seeing how you feel, okay? Another reason you might be bloated, you might be having a lot of foods that have processed added fibers in them, okay? so. Some examples, common examples are um, tortillas that have a lot of added fiber, um, high fiber cereals, um, protein bars that have like 15, 18, 20 grams of fiber. Like that's not normal. That's fiber added to the food and that can make you super, super bloated and gassy. So I would try cutting those out and see how you feel. Now keep in mind here, I don't think you should do all of these things at once. I would choose one or maybe two of these tips to work on at a time and see what helps, okay? Uh, next one, eating a lot of processed protein sources. Okay. So I hear a lot that people say, oh, I get really gassy when my protein intake gets high. You know, um, oftentimes, I'm not gonna say this is the case for everybody, but oftentimes it's not that the protein is high. It's the foods that you're choosing for your protein servings that aren't optimal. Okay. So you know, maybe you're using a lot of processed um, shakes or maybe you are doing, you know, a lot of dairy proteins. Um, try focusing more on meat-based proteins, fish, eggs, things like that, and minimizing the processed proteins um, to see how you feel, see if that makes a difference for you, okay? So wh what do you do about it? I kind of tried to touch on each of those as we went, like how to address each of those issues. Um, but some things you can also do, try, like I mentioned, slowing down your food, making sure you are, or slowing down your meal time, making sure you're chewing your food really thoroughly, like chewing it almost to like a liquid. I know that sounds really gross, but just chewing really, really thoroughly before you swallow. Um, 
trying the digestive enzyme, you guys. Um, I really like New Ethics. It's N-U-E-T-H-I-X, New Ethics. Um, their Utilize product. I have a discount code. It's Trainer Lindsay. If you want to give that a try, um, my discount code actually isn't working at the moment, but they're fixing that. So by the time you see this and try it, it should be working again. But um, just any digestive enzyme that, uh, you know, have it around your three main meals. You don't have to have it every time you eat. If there's, um, if you have three meals that are bigger than others, or if you have, if you notice you're always feeling bloated after dinner or later in the day, maybe have your digestive enzyme around that time of day and um, see if that helps. Another thing you can do is cut out all processed foods for three days. Oftentimes we don't realize how much processed food we're eating until we really go look at each food choice in each meal. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of processed food. I'm gonna cut all that out and focus more on whole foods like fruits, vegetables, grains like rice, oatmeal, potatoes, nuts, um, healthy oils, meats, eggs, fish, things like that, okay? Um, so hopefully that helps you guys. If it does, let me know. Share this video if that helps you. Um, and yeah, leave any comments if you have any questions. Debbie says she's had no sugar for two days. That is awesome. I bet that will help her digestion right there. Um, but yeah, let me know what questions you guys have and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.